welcome back to another video as you can see by the title this is my life update and I have a few subtopics that I wanted to talk about with you guys I was going to talk about you know just life in general about what's going on with me now um, school health my skin yeah, my things like that um, because I haven't been on here in a while I wanted to start off coming back with the video where you know what's going on if that makes sense so we're gonna jump right into this video okay guys so I have my little notebook here it's so cute I got it from Walmart really cute and this is the front of it it says you can and I just like these little notebooks just to write down ideas uh, for the video so I won't be going all over the place and off topic if you don't know me my name is Jasmine um, I'm from Philadelphia I went to Penn State Berks University and I graduated from there and I decided to start a YouTube channel because I always caught myself like engaging in YouTube and just watching it so 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 much so I decided to start my own channel so let's get started so the first thing I have have here on my notes is my skin <sighs> okay so I recently did an unboxing video that you guys are gonna see after this video but my skin is so annoying okay let me tell you why my skin is problematic okay it's getting on my nerves I tried so many things with my skin I tried simple I tried kills I've tried um what is that called Cetaphil I even went to a dermatologist and I was on some type of medication like a topical and stuff and it did work for a while but when I got out of my teens like it just it didn't work anymore for my skin so look at my skin I just have a few acne bumps a lot over here on my chin and a little on my forehead and that's the least problematic because my forehead is usually just my cheeks and my chin where I just get acne I am 23 I am so sick of acne okay like I'm not in my teens anymore I'm over it I want the the clear skin but I do know that I have to do other things to get clear skin I know it's just not gonna happen um, I know my diet is terrible which is I'm also going to talk about I know you know things I eat and I don't exercise and I don't drink enough water and all that stuff so I know that my skin isn't going to be clear if I don't do those things but it's so hard to eat healthy sometimes I know I don't do the things that I'm supposed to do to keep it clear but I'm trying I'm trying and I'm going to give you guys a whole spiel on what I'm gonna do in these next coming months to change my life okay because listen listen it's gonna be a lot okay and you guys are probably gonna be shocked but we're going to do it and we're going to stick to it okay so yeah um right now I am doing a skincare routine with Dermalogica like I bought their products and I and trying it out to see if it you know works for my skin hopefully it clears my skin up it's only been a week since I've been using it so clearly I'm not gonna see any results I'm gonna make a conscious decision on what I eat stop eating chick-fil-a and stuff like that and hopefully my skin will react well to that so yes that is the rant about my skin and we're gonna move on to school I graduated from Penn State Berks University um, December 20th of 2019 um, and I decided when I still was in college that I wanted to do nursing now in order to do nursing you have to cover all the prerequisites and all that stuff blah 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 that's gonna be another video but yeah I graduated with a bachelor's degree in kinesiology and thank god that covered all the prerequisites for the nursing program that i was looking into which is called hack which is harrisburg area community college so i actually recently applied to hack and i'm waiting for the notices to come back if i or if i didn't get accepted to nursing school i hope i did okay because i have a plan for my life and hopefully i got accepted so i can move to the next phase of my life now i had to take an exam called the t's exam and that is uh what is it testing essentials academic skills test i think that's what it stands for i'm not sure i had to think about it but i took that exam and they have two programs that i'm going to apply to i was going to apply to the lpm program and i was going to apply to the rm program which i applied for both wait 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 hey you right there you did you subscribe yet i don't think you subscribed i think you're just watching this video can you go subscribe right now i'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait
you're done okay did you hit that red button all right cool now let's move in to health that is about me so if you want to keep watching you made it this far in the video you know you can watch the last little part it's not gonna be a long video you can watch the last ending of it about me and my health and what I'm doing so let's get right into it all right so you have made it to the end of this video we are talking about my health guys so nothing's wrong not serious don't die all right so basically I when I was younger I ran track um all my life and I was in the best shape of my life like I had abs I had a little booty you know like strong whatnot but as I grew out of track when I stopped and transferred to another school when there was no track I decided to do cheerleading now cheerleading is not as extensive on your body as track and field so it didn't really keep me in shape but I stopped cheerleading completely stopped all activity all like working out all activity and I started eating and eating and eating now mind you this is high school that I'm talking about before I even went to college sis let me tell you I went to college and gained some pounds I really gained a lot of weight though I think I gained about 25 pounds because I was about 110 115 that's the last that I recall during my track days because I had muscle so I wasn't skinny and the like the weight comes from me having like muscles and whatnot so when I went to college that freshman 15 freshman 20 I gained some weight and from then on throughout my whole college experience I was either between 130 and 140 I have never went under or over 130 and 140 since I've been in my college you know career or anything like that and it's like when I try to work out I'll drop a couple pounds I'll be at like 120 133 132 and when I gain weight I'll be at 138 139 but I never hit 140 or went over so it's like okay what is my body doing to the point where I can't lose or gain any more weight I have to stay stagnant it was a lot when I used to eat all that food okay it was a lot and I used to eat out constantly get chick-fil-a things like that like we have a kitchen of course like but we don't cook a lot I don't cook a lot he doesn't cook a lot so guess what we decide to do sis we decide to go to chick-fil-a chick-fil-a three to four times a week like four times is pushing it but three to four times a week we eat chicken filet okay like chicken filet like spicy chicken sandwich number two deluxe with a large lemonade large fry every time three to four days a week and sometimes it's back to back days like not good at all we eat wendy's popeyes um we what else we eat? we eat bang bang shrimp from bonefish grill like we would go in like my eating habits is terrible and i'm not afraid to admit that like my eating habits are a mess okay and we also eat sheets if you guys don't know what sheets is sheets is like a wawa it's like a gas station store but they sell food and stuff and their tater tots their popcorn chicken so good okay we have to stop eating out we have to start cooking and i tried to go on this little health kick thing and meal prep and eat those meals but i got tired of eating the same meals and i think that's the problem with people today and myself we think of it as a kick or a diet instead of changing it and making it a lifestyle to eat healthy and things like that um the reason why i feel like or i know that i'm starting to be unhealthy like way beyond what i used to be or like i've never felt this way before usually like my body would be weak and things will start hurting like i'm 60 years old okay like i ain't 60 i ain't 70 i'm not 40 i'm 23 years old and i feel like when when it rains, my bones ache. Okay, my bones be hurting. Like, <laughs> my back be hurting. I be walking, my ankles be hurting. I'm like, damn, is it too much weight on my ankles? Like, well, my ankle hurt, my knees. Like, it was just too much going on. I always feel like sleepy or whatever. And I'm like, this is not, like, this can't be healthy. And after I eat the Chick fil A or we eat out, like, I won't feel good. Like, I feel like I just put something bad in my body. And it's like, I never felt that way before like not to this extent so it's like dang like it's time for me to you know change my lifestyle I'm not trying to have high blood pressure I'm not trying to 
have diabetes because my family have a long list of things that has been going on with them. I don't want to have health issues. So I definitely think that it's time to make it a lifestyle change and hopefully I'm able to stick to it. The hard thing about it is motivation. Like sometimes I am just not motivated to get up and go to the gym. I'm going to try my best, my absolute best to make it into a lifestyle and hopefully I stick with it. And guess what? My favorite's going to come with me. You, you going to come with me and work out? listen and i'm going to take you guys to the gym with me hopefully our gym open back up soon because we just got into green friday hopefully they open our gym back up soon oh so yeah that's my plan that's my life update hopefully everything you know goes the way i want it to go thank you so much for tuning into my video i hope you guys enjoyed it another thing that i came across sis why are y'all sitting here watching my video and not subscribed okay I can see who watching and who not watching. It's like 500 of y'all who has watched like one of my videos on my channel because I think I have 21. It's like 500 of y'all who just watch it and don't subscribe. Now I understand. I get it. Y'all don't want to subscribe right away because y'all might not like me. But make sure you subscribe if you come back for more than one video. If you come back for more than one, then you like me. You know you like me. So you might as well subscribe. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button so the algorithm knows to push out my videos to y'all so y'all can see more of me. And make sure you hit the notification bell to let you guys know when I upload another video because I'm about to go in. I'm filming every day this week for y'all so y'all can see more videos. So make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.